This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Cyclists have always cared about how much a bike weighs because a lighter bike feels faster and feels amazing. But these days, getting a lightweight bike is an expensive business. This one, for example, costs a staggering £12,000. Who has that sort of money lying around? But fear not, I'm going to save you a ton of money in this video and also make your current road bike lighter as well. I picked seven products that can save you a bunch of weight without buying a new bike. We'll start with the cheapest upgrade and work our way up to prices and by the end of the video, we'll see how much weight you can save from your road bike for hopefully a lot less money than that bike I showed you earlier. One of the easiest and most inexpensive ways to save weight on your road bike is by upgrading the inner tubes it comes with, which are likely one of these. A regular Butel inner tube is very heavy, so upgrading these to a lighter option is a surefire way to save weight on your road bike. You could consider switching to a thin and lightweight Butel inner tube, such as a Continental Supersonic, which is one option. The other option, which is very popular with weight weenies, is a latex inner tube, or there is a new breed of plastic inner tubes that have gained popularity over the last few years. Probably the best bang for your buck. And as well as weight, there's another nice benefit. They're claimed to improve performance to near latex levels, but are also lighter than latex with better air retention and better puncture resistance as well. So it seems we should probably all be riding these plastic inner tubes on our road bikes if we care about weight and performance. There's a big weight difference between cheap and high-end bicycle tires. Cheaper tires are heavier because they have a wire bead, which adds weight compared to the Kevlar folding bead you get in high-end tires. And usually the materials involved in the construction isn't as high-end and therefore not as lightweight. Opting for a narrow tire can also help reduce weight and give some more aero, but at the expense of comfort and smoothness. As an example, the Continental Ultra Race, which is popular on entry-level road bikes, has a wire bead and weighs around 335 grand, while the high-end Posh GP5000 with a Kevlar bead and better materials weighs 225. So that across both tires on a bike is a 200 gram weight saving for quite a minimal expense. While the saddle is not an area I'd recommend compromising on comfort and support, there are options to save weight without going for an extremely lightweight carbon saddle like the SLR C59, which weighs an astonishing 61 grand. Although it has to be said, the comfort isn't as bad as you might expect from how it looks. When I rode it recently, I was pleasantly surprised, but it wouldn't be my first pick for a lightweight saddle when you want to retain the comfort of a good saddle. That is an extreme example, of course, but also very expensive. Generally, if you want to save weight on a saddle, you want to look for an option with posh rails, so titanium or carbon fiber, which are lighter than those with chromoly or steel rails. As an example, the entry-level specialized toupee gel, which is a very good saddle, weighs around 262 grams and costs 84 pounds. While the Phenom Pro, a high-end saddle, weighs 207 grams and costs 210 pounds. So a big weight saving, but a big price premium as well. If you are prepared to spend a lot of money, a crazy lightweight option is a Tune Com 4 Carbon, which weighs just 91 grams and looks insane. So if you're weight winning, that might be a good pick for you. Upgrading the pedals on your road bike is a good place to save weight with few compromises, but generally the cost isn't worth the squeeze. For example, Shimano's 105 SPD SL pedals weigh 265 grams, but if you move up to the Ultegra pedals, which I have here, you save just 17 grams. And going for the top end dual race pedals can save 37 grams. Wahoo's speed play pedals offer the biggest weight savings for a pedal. From the cheapest comp, which weighs over 230 grams a pair, to the top end nano, which is just under 170 grams, although you do have to spend a lot of money to get very small savings as the comparisons show. Shedding weight from your road bike is a surefire way to save time on your local climbs. And another way to save time is by using Squarespace to build your website. 
today's sponsor. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes it really quick to produce a professional looking website. It's also dead easy as well. There's a massive library of beautiful templates to choose from to get you up and running. And then thanks to their fluid engine drag and drop interface, you can easily customize your website to suit your preference and taste. So getting a website up and running for your business today doesn't need to be a daunting process. You can build a website for anything, whether you're selling products, showcasing your brand, running classes, there are tools for literally everything. So if you run any kind of business, Squarespace is a place to be. And with a free trial, you get a website up and running in minutes right after watching today's video and see what I'm talking about. And if you really enjoy it, if you really like it, you get 10% of your first purchase by using my special code down below in the description. Okay, back to some weight saving tips. Moving on to the gears and your group set, and the cassette is a big component that offers massive weight savings. It's often one of the heaviest parts of a group set, so an easy place to save weight, with no downsides in terms of performance other than the hit to your wallet. And if you have a lower end group set, like Tiagra or Wonify, say, then moving up to a more expensive cassette from Ultegra or Dure, say, can save a lot of weight. So a 105 cassette is just over 300 grams, while Dual Race is half the weight at 175 grams. So while an expensive upgrade to a part of your bike that will wear out eventually, if you are trying to save weight, it's an easy and obvious place to save weight compared to the easier gains from inner tubes, pedals, and tires. When it comes to smaller weight savings and more expensive upgrades, switching from an aluminium handlebar to a carbon handlebar and also a seat post can shed a few hundred grams if you're careful with the parts you go for. While this may not be the most affordable upgrade and the gains might be quite small, it can make a small difference on the scales if you are trying to push your bike to be as light as possible. A cheap aluminium handlebar can weigh over 300 grams while an expensive high-end carbon handlebar can weigh as little as 121 grams, such as the Darimo example. So a big area to save weight if you have the pockets to afford it. You can make even bigger gains with the seat posts as well. Like this one, it's just 61 grams. But a word of caution on the super expensive and super lightweight carbon handlebars and seat posts is that they may have a weight limit on them, a rider weight limit or a rider and bike weight limit. So worth checking the details before you purchase. Right, I saved the most expensive weight saving upgrade to last, but the biggest one after the frame, the wheels. And as well as weight saving, there are other performance and ride quality benefits from a high end expensive wheel set as well. Now, carbon wheels often have a high price tag and are deemed to be the best when it comes to low weight, but you can still find good quality aluminum wheels that can save several hundred grams compared to cheap and heavy wheels on an entry level bike. For example, these Hunt Alloy SL disc brake wheels weigh just over 1400 grams, so similar to a mid-range carbon wheel set, but cost just over 400 pounds, providing a great balance between weight savings and affordability, and proving you don't have to spend loads and loads of money on an expensive carbon wheel set to save weight on your road bike. But if you want the lightest wheels possible, then carbon is impossible to beat. These MV SES 2.3 wheels, for example, weigh just 1,197 grams. That is seriously lightweight indeed. And there are a few other options that weigh around 11, 1,200 grams with disc brakes. Now, these are shallow wheels and great for saving weight on your bike and also great for climbing, but not much in the way of aerodynamics which makes the Zip 353 NSW look really good. They weigh just 1,255 grams, yet give you a 42 to 45 mil deep session wheel for more aerodynamics. So low weight and aero, you can have your cake and eat it. But if you're still happy with rim brakes, I know lots of you are, and tubular tires where you glue the tire onto the rim, then the lightweight Milestein Obermeyers are among the lightest wheels ever made at an astonishing 935 grams for the pair. That's as light as some rear wheels from other wheel sets. So crazy, crazy lightweight if you have rim brakes and you are prepared to glue your tires to the wheels. 
but choosing the right wheel set comes down to your budget, of course, your preference for aerodynamics over climbing ability, whether you're running rim brakes or disc brakes, and how you want to fit your tyre to the bike. Hookless, hooked, or tubular, lots of options out there. In addition to these upgrades, there are other areas where you can trim unnecessary weight from your bike. Consider, for example, using lightweight bottle cages, minimizing the weight of your saddlebag, and overall, being mindful of any excess weight that can be removed without compromising functionality, reliability, and of course, comfort. Okay, let's add up all the weight savings for our grand total, which is, drum roll please, 1.8 kilograms. That is pretty decent, fairly impressive for a few smart upgrades. Now the weight you save will of course depend on the components you are upgrading from and how much you are willing to spend. So you could get smaller or bigger weight reductions, but it shows what's possible. Remember that saving weight on your bike can make a big difference in performance, especially during climbs with steep gradients. So if you're on a budget, explore the cost-effective upgrades and enjoy a lighter and more agile ride without breaking the bank. And upgrades, as I've shown, that are cheaper than going out and buying a new top-end road bike. So hopefully some of your tips will save some weight from your road bike. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see some other amazing tips to make your cycling experience better, then watch this video right up here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel by hitting the button down here. And if you want to find out more about Squarespace, there's a link down below in the description. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again very soon.